how to use our GDC to solve equations. So I'm going to look first at equations in one unknown. And we are going to open first the calculator page. If we are going to type just 2x equals 6, for example, it's not going to solve my equation. It doesn't know what I want to do. So I need to use a command which is found under menu, algebra, numerical solve. And that's what I'm going to type my equation. So I can type 2x equals 6, for example. I need to tell my GDC what is the unknown. So I have to add comma x where I tell it x is the unknown. And then I press enter. And this is my solution, x equals 3. What happened when equations have more than one solution? So let me take another example. Menu, algebra, numerical solve, x squared uh, equals 4, for example. Comma, where the variable is x. So it gives me a single solution, x equals 2, one solution only. Now I know that this equation has two solutions, 2 and minus 2. So if I'm not sure if it's a single solution, or I know that it's not a single solution, I only need to check for others. Let me take the first previous equations, for example. It gave me a solution x equals 3. Assuming I don't know if it's a single solution, I want to check if there are others. So I will choose the option given that, given that x bigger than 3. So I'm looking for solutions that are bigger than 3, because I know that 3 is a solution, enter. So this tells that there is no solution bigger than 3. If I go up, up, because I don't want to type so many times, delete x smaller than 3, then I can check if there are solutions smaller than 3. So there are no, x equals 3 is the only solution. Let us look at this equation. I found x equals 2 as a solution. I want to check solutions that are bigger than 2. And I see no other solution bigger than 2. How about solutions that are smaller than 2? x equals negative 2. So I have two solutions. I want to see, do I have another solution, right? So it makes sense to check for solutions smaller than negative 2 this time. So there's no other solution. It's a bit of a work, as you see. Uh, so in cases uh, as this one, I prefer to graph as well, because graphing means that I can see immediately how many solutions I have. So remember, we used the graphing uh, app in the previous lesson. So I add a graph to my document. And if I type x squared minus 4, I see that I have only two solutions. So I see that I have only two solutions. Of course, I just took a simple example that we know already the answer for. Um, let me take another example uh, with a quadratic equation. Now, the question is, if an equation has more than one solution, my GDC will give me only one solution first. Which one? And the answer to this question is the one that is closest to zero, not necessarily positive or negative one, the one that is closest to zero. So let me try an equation that I know that has two solutions, negative 1 and 4. So x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0, comma, x is my unknown. <clears throat> and it gives me the solution negative 1, which is closer, closer to 0 than the other solution. Oh. I have one, yeah, given that x bigger than negative 1, the other solution that is 4. So if an equation has more than one solution, my GDC will always give me the solution that is closest to 0, to the right or left of 0. Of course, uh, my advice is you either look for other solutions. Like in the case of the quadratic, you know that there are exactly two solutions. You found them, so you are done. Another method would be to grab the function and find them from the graph. So I'm going on my graphing tool. 
I press tab up because I want to deselect the first option, or the first function, I don't want to see it, or I could just open a new tab and I go down, I define my function x squared, we said minus 3x minus 4, oops, x squared minus 3x minus 4, and I see here the two solutions. We will learn in another, in another movie how to find the solutions. Now I can see them because they are integer values. How I can find them if they are not so clear, clear to be seen.